This demo is about an application customizer. Uh, so this is an uh, SPFX extension. And uh, if you see, uh, once we add this extension, uh, there is a small icon which comes up here, which allows us to show and hide the header. Right, so when I uh, collapse it, the header gets hidden and I have more uh, space for the content area where I can read. Uh, so basically the uh, motivation behind developing this is if we look at the classic sites, we always had this option to focus on content, which hides most of the uh, static ones and uh, we get a more uh, reading area. So that was one of the idea uh, to think of uh, this solution and uh, there was another uh, scenario where we, I wanted to use this. So for a developer, uh, like most of the time when we develop the SPFX web parts, we use the developer tools a lot. Uh, like if you see, and we just go through, uh, if we want to uh, check the HTML structure or we, we want to see the uh, React components and uh, check the properties and states. This is the most of the time we use this uh, developer tools. And when I want to uh, inspect certain element, like the content area is very small. It's it's almost not even 20% of the screen. And in such scenarios also, this is helpful where I can just uh, hide the header and I have more space uh, to check out or debug on the content and the SPFX structure here. Uh, so basically, yeah, this is the this is one of the problem which I face because like many people use multiple monitors. I don't have a multiple monitor uh, system, so and it's only on one monitor which I work. This could be helpful in uh, such scenarios as well. And there's no other complication. It's a very simple extension. So I'll jump to the code. Uh, as you can see, uh, uh, we register uh, the top, uh, the placeholder for the uh, the top placeholder. And uh, within this, I have written some uh, basic HTML to show two anchor tags uh, using the fabric icons uh, for the uh, expand and collapse icons. And then I've registered uh, the event handlers or the click handlers for these two buttons and we add a CSS class uh, to the body of the page. And there is uh, the corresponding CSS uh, which uh, hides the header. This part. So uh, basically we find a div uh, where we have this data automation ID of site header and we display it. Uh, display none uh, for that uh, site header. So that way we can hide the header as well as we can also try uh, hiding the soup bar. So uh, that's all I want to share. But before I close, uh, what uh, you, as you can see, this is about uh, playing with the DOM structure, which is definitely not recommended. So I wouldn't suggest this using in a production in, uh, scenario, but uh, in my case, it's mostly useful uh, as a developer to uh, hide the header and have a, a more more content area on the canvas for troubleshooting and uh, such things. Yeah, yeah, Patrick, that's all I wanted to share. So Patrick, if you, if you don't mind, I'll just jump here uh, on the RAM. So, so the, the, the key reason is actually what RAM said at last um, is, is to have this demo as well. So technically, uh, you can absolutely do this kind of a DOM uh, injection uh, implementations using application customizer. Uh, it is definitely not also recommended um, because it, it, there's a high risk that whenever we change the page structure, the HTML structure of the page, which is the DOM structure, uh, your extension will not work. So the, the page, HTML on the page should not be considered as an API. Now, to be fair, again, so this is not a black and white discussion though. Uh, you might have a customer who says, okay, fine, I will then move away from the modern. And then we're in an interesting discussion that, well, you probably still wanna use modern. So if we need to do a small hack here, is that worthwhile? But that's something which we obviously from a Microsoft side, we can't say that it's a recommended pattern, um, but we definitely want people to use modern options as well. Um, using this kind of a DOM manipulation, uh, you can change the, the page structure quite heavily, definitely, uh, but there are implications. You need to be then taking responsibility of the page. But that's it, uh, just to reiterate uh, on, the, on the discussion. So thank you, Ram, uh, on that one. Yeah, thank I you.